as required by Article 245 of the Constitution, the Inspector General of Police is mandated to exercise independent command over the National Police Service. The service's operational autonomy, however, has been undermined by the continued financial dependence on the office of the President. This situation is going to change. As I address you, I have instructed that the instruments conferring financial autonomy to the National Police Service by transferring their budget from the office of the President and designating the Inspector General as the accounting officer be placed on my desk for signature this afternoon. <laughs> Financial independence of the police will give impetus to the fight against corruption and end the political weaponization of the criminal justice system, an undertaking I made to the people of Kenya. I understand the deep fissures and low morale in the public service, the intimidation that was visited on IEBC commissioners and staff during the election was also meted out on various other agencies and staff in public service. This is now in the past. I assure all public officers that my administration will respect their professional service and no public servant, even chiefs and their assistants, will be required to run political errands for any political party or formation. <laughs>